In this video, we will be learning what we call conjunct consonants. So let me actually write that down for you. Conjunct, conjunct, consonants, consonants. And of course, these are for Punjabi. So what what does a conjunct consonant mean? Well, when we have, when, when we basically merge, combine two consonants, we, that's what we do with, you know, that's what we call conjunct consonants. And, you know, when as I said, we, we try to combine consonants. And why do we do that? Because some of the words are better written and they look more aesthetically pleasing when they are combined. You might be right. Why don't we just use full letters? However, that's what the tradition is. And, 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 and we have the ability to do that with only three letters, which, which are ha ha, ha ha, ra ra, and va va. We can actually combine these with, with other, with, with other consonants to to produce these so-called conjunct consonants so you know the, the deal here is this you have two letters one letter here being added to either ha ha ra ra or va va so one of those gets plugged in here however you only pronounce half of this uh, the, half the sound from this letter. However, you fully pronounce this one. However, this one is written, at, you know, below that one. You probably have no idea what I'm saying. If I had to do this in English, if this is A and if this is B, then how you would do this when you combine these together, you would write A and then B. So b below that. However, when you read that, you, you don't read a B, you read a B. So, so you, you pronounce half of this. However, you pronounce all of this. So you fully pronounce the second consonant. Let me, let me show you some examples that you, you will understand right away. So as I said, we have three letters that we can do this with. And, and, and therefore we have three little symbols. We don't write the actual, so we, we don't write, uh, maybe, maybe let's do la la and we don't do ha ha at the bottom. Not like that. We have special symbols, at, uh, you know, you know, dedicated to the conjunct consonants for Punjabi. So this is quite beautiful. So, 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 as I said, we only have three, three consonants that are able to, to merge like this, to, to, to really do this transformation. So let me do, let me write that down. So this, these are the consonants that we can do this with. Consonants. Consonants. So the first one that we have is ha ha, as we can see. Ha ha, then we have uh, ra ra, and then we have va va. Let me split these into different sections to make my life a little bit easier. So there we go. So with ha ha, the symbol that's used, so let me actually do this as well to make to make it really, really easy. I'll, I'll write down the symbol in just one second. So there we go. So the symbol that we use, so I'll put symbols in here, let me, let me write this down. So th these will be the symbols, symbols. So the symbol that we use that when, when, when we use it in, in this manner, in this transformation is the following. It's a, it's a little, it's without that top part. We put that at the bottom. So we use this symbol. And when we use uh, rara in the bottom, when it's transformed with another consonant, we use at the bottom, we use this. It's an alpha quite easy actually and for the last one we actually just use this this so it's a flip to three if if three was looking in a mirror I that's a very bad mirror so let me so let me do this if if three was looking in a mirror it would see this so that's what you're trying to do so how do we use this so let me show you some examples some examples of this so when i have rara rara and if i want to add this to ha ha when we have these two together what we can actually do is we can so if this pronounces rd and this pronounces h together we can pronounce rd rd so so as you can already kind of hear this is a hard one so wait until i do more um you pronounce half of this one however all of the haha -ha. so when you write this down you don't write it down as rara being added to haha -ha, as we have been doing in the previous few videos you actually write down the first one you write down the first one and here at the bottom, you add this little haha, -ha, this little symbol to show that you're doing this. So something like that. Let me do one more for you. 
Let's do lala being added with ha ha. So lala makes a sound l. This makes a sound h. So l. That's the sound that we're trying to make. How how do we write this down together? So we have our lala, and at the bottom here we we write down a ha ha like that. L. So it's a mixture of of l and h. Let's do some examples. So f f with with this, you would see pardna, pardna. Na, it's 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 not pardna. There is a difference. You can hear it. I'll I'll uh, say it now. So make sure you hear me properly. Pardna and pardna. There is a difference. There is that little h sound in there. So we add a little haha there. Pardna, something like that. What does pardna mean? It means to read. It's reading. It's reading. Or maybe I should write to read because it's a verb. So when we add, let's do an example with this. So with this, we would have a kela, kela. You can kind of hear at the at the ending of my word that I'm kind of breathing it out. Kela. I'm I'm not reading kela. I'm reading kela. That that little sound. That's why Punjabi is so beautiful because it's very subtle with these sounds. So it's kela. So so you know this this symbol then then would be you know what does this word mean? This means fort. That's what this fort means. Let's do let's do some with darara. Let's try to understand how this works. So you know normally the three different letters that this gets added to is a papa, gaga, and a dada. So when I add this with papa, so papa being added to rara, it's it's you know when I want to do a very fast one, then this makes a sound of p. This makes a sound of r. So when I put them together, when I transform these together, I read pr pr. You can, you know, that's quite efficient because it gets the job done in a, in a, in a faster method. So how? What's what's a good example of this? Well, we have prem, prem. So so how do we write it down? Papa with the lama with the with the uh, mama. So this right now reads prem. However, if I put that little symbol under there, the alpha there to to denote that ara, so like that, this reads prem. So this means love. That's what this means. Let's do more. Let's do, uh, you know, jaja or not, sorry, not jaja, a gaga. So a gaga looks like this. A gaga being added to rara would give me gr, gr. So something like this. So Groot, that's, that's a guardians of the galaxy that that would be written with like this How, however you know when you want to write this together you don't write gagarara uh, you you use this symbol you're transforming these and you can also kind of hear that let me do a better job there so something like that you can also kind of hear that the first one is only half uh, pronounced it's the it's it's the second one it's, it's these haharara and vava which are really really the emphasis in the pronunciation of that specific symbol so what's a good example of gr? Well, a good example of gr would be grover. So so if I put a gaga with a hora, with a vava and a rara, this would be gover. However, if I put a little, if I transform the gaga with a rara, so I put this, this would read grover. What does grover mean? It's It, it means name. That's what this means. For our last one, let's transform. Maybe I should make my material a little bit smaller so that I can fit in the last piece of information that I need to fit in. Let me make that a little bit smaller. There we go. That should give me enough space. So let's let's transform. Let's add the da the with rara. So this is obviously the sound of the. This is the sound of r. When I add these together, I get dr. The and I, and 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 I put that little alpha to denote the transformation. So this is the and uh, or or yeah. So so a good example of this would be drish drish. So this would be dish. Right now that reads dish. If I put that little symbol, this would make it drish. So that's drish. What does drish mean? This means sight. I should have probably used this this color for my examples. However, I hope they are very clear here. These are the examples. These are the examples and these are the transformations. 
Let's do the last one. For Vava, we normally see this with Sasa and uh, Dada, so let's do that. So let me add Sasa with Vava. So I normally you would give each uh, letter their you know their respect. So you would read them slowly. So you would say server or you know whatever you're reading. When you when you transform them, when you transform them, you read half the sound of this and basically all of this with server server and you hear it like you you heard it here as well. This is r. This is l. This is pr. This is gr. This is dr. And this is sv. It's it's in one simple smooth motion. So it's a sasa with a with a vava in at the bottom at right over there. So so how what would be a good example of of this? Well, it could be a sram svaman svaman. So how do we write that? So we have sa sa, and then this would be vava with a kanna and a nana. This reads savan. If I put that symbol, this symbol at the bottom here, and this would read Svavan, or I wrote it wrong. Sorry, I apologize. I meant to write this so so. I meant to write. Let me actually just choose white. So this would be Sva. So so Sasa with a with a Dalama, with a Mama, with a Mama and a Kanna and a Nana. So that reads Saman. If I if I was to put that symbol at the bottom there, then this would read Svaman. So something like Sva Svaman. This is just one simple motion. Sva. So that's Sv. That makes the sound a. Eh. So Svaman. What does Svaman mean? This means self-respect. Self respect for our last one let's do the da being added with a vava so this is the the so that's the sound that we make when we add these together when we transform these these conjunct consonants this would make the sound the so 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 to 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 do an example for you let's do the bat the bat so so you know so let me do the da with the the lama being added to the da that reads that however when i put that little symbol under there that reads the bat so what does the bat mean it means duality duality all right so let's review all of the symbols so that you know to to make sure you you understand how this works and you know just for aesthetic purposes let me rewrite these again because i haven't used uh, pink for any of the or purple whatever that color is or or i guess it would be magenta for any of my other examples so so th this was na so i should use the same style something like that na like that and then this would be kela so kela something like this so let's review them the three uh, letters that are can be transformed with other consonants are ha ha ra ra va va they have special symbols dedicated to those to 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 them so that when we are using this or when we are transforming them with other letters we can clearly denote that we want half of the first letter sound so whatever you see at the top you so that the that 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 and that should only be pronounced half of its pronunciation and what well, you know this these symbols that you have down here below these should be pronounced fully so and 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 it makes the whole structure more beautiful to look at it also so so let's review this so we have as i said we have three so we have haha we have rara we have vava these are the symbols when we use it with uh, rara this me this reads uh, so this is part na and this is when you add it with la la it makes a sound la so it's la and when you read it together, it's kila. That's how that's how you read it. There's that subtle H in there. With rara, we have this alpha symbol dedicated dedicated to it. So we have papa being added to rara. Normally, this would be read as per. You give it each of the letters their respect however now you're transforming them so you read the second one this one a lot uh, for for a longer period of time so this is pr this is and when you add it with the gaga with the rara you have gr when you add it with the data and rara then this is 
dre. So this is prem with with these two. This is grover with these two, and then this is drish, drish. For the last one, we have a vava, and when the vava is transformed, it does the exact same job as you know these easy here so server that's how you would read them together so if I was to just put sasa with a vava and 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 put a kanna and a rara this would read savar however when I read it when I transform this this would be savar or maybe I could even change that or let me actually change that so this would be server however if I do this this would read svar svar this is server this is svar so that's the difference here. So, so um, some examples of these would be uh, Svaman, Svaman, which which reads self-respect, and this is the vat, the vat, which which reads duality. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for this video for you. In the next video, we will be doing double consonants, uh, and 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 after that we will do some 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 nasal nasal uh, signs and after that we will do a reading exercise and we will be done with our first unit so i hope that this video was helpful i will see you in the next video